welcome to my channel and welcome to day five of my 25 days of Craftmas series. Today I'm showing you how to make these cute rolled sock Christmas cupcakes. I made something similar for Valentine's a few years ago and just loved how they turned out. Since fuzzy socks make such a great Christmas gift, I thought it would be fun to design some wrappers just for Christmas. Now let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you'll need some cardstock, some fuzzy socks, small elastics, pom-pom balls, straight pins, a cello bag and ribbon are optional, and of course, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just go to free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. For this project, we're gonna be using the cut file called Christmas Cupcake Wrappers BA2105. To find it, you can just use your browser search and type in 2105. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on that link and the files will be downloaded onto your computer. So I'm gonna show you how to set up and cut these designs in Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and import designs into Cricut Design Space, be sure to check out my step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is what the designs will look like when you import them onto your Canva screen. These bottom two designs are layered. So there's a red layer in front and a white layer behind. And on this one, there's a red layer in front and a green layer behind. Up here on this Santa looking cupcake wrapper, it's just one layer of red. And then there's a black belt with a little gold buckle. So the first thing we need to do is resize the designs so they'll work with our project. And I am gonna be using fluffy socks to make these rolled cupcakes. And if you're using rolled socks, you'll want to change the width to 9.5 inches. So you can go up here and click on the lock and then just change your width to 9.5 inches. If you're using socks that aren't fluffy, I found that resizing the design to eight inches works really well. Now, if you don't want to cut all three of the designs, you can right click and choose ungroup, and then you can just select the design you don't want to stay and delete it. But I'm going to be cutting multiple designs, so I'm just gonna leave all three of them. And so that is really all that we need to do on this Canva screen. So now you can click on the green make it button and then you'll be taken to this screen. And on this screen, Cricut just divides the different colors into different cutting mats. And you can see all the different colors coordinate with our designs. So if everything looks good, you can click on the green continue button. Once design space finds your Cricut, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure your dial is set to cardstock and then you can go load your cutting mat. So you're gonna place a piece of cardstock on your cutting mat and smooth it down. Load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin cutting. When everything has been cut, you can press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. To remove the cardstock, slightly bend your cutting mat and carefully pull off the cardstock pieces. Then you can place on your next sheet of cardstock and load it into the Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. Repeat these steps until all your cardstock has been cut. We're gonna start by making one of the layered cupcake wrappers. To make this wrapper, you'll need to fold down the top portion of the tab. Form a circle with the wrapper and place the bottom of the tab in the slit, followed by the top folded portion. Once the tab is inside of that slit, you can unfold the top of it. Repeat with the other section of the wrapper. Place the inside layer inside of the outer layer and match up the seams. The layers should stay together, but if they don't, you can add a bit of glue to keep them in place. For the Santa cupcake wrapper, you'll form the circle the same as the other wrappers. Next, slide the two slits of the belt together to form a circle. 
Place the belt over the outer circle and glue it in place. Finish this wrapper by gluing the belt buckle into place. Next, grab your pair of socks and fold each sock in half lengthwise. Place one sock over the other, but separate the toes about a half an inch. Begin by rolling the socks from the toes to the ankle in a downward motion. As you roll, each layer should be about a quarter of an inch lower than the previous layer. This will help create the look of frosting. Make sure the socks stay folded in half and roll until you reach the other end of the socks. Take an elastic and secure the socks at the bottom of your cupcake. Place your socks in the wrapper and adjust the socks until they look good. Add a fake cherry to the top by placing a straight pin through the center of a pom-pom ball. Then just pin it to the top of the sock. Now you have a perfect little Christmas gift. If you enjoyed this project and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll get notified each time I post something new.